Hi everyone and welcome to this new video. This is just a minor update video from my last video which was about the white screen of death or the black screen of death issue occurring with the RX 580 and an eGPU on macOS Catalina. Now after that video I had some problems with the RX 580 in the compute mode or in the silent mode Therefore, I decided to get the new 5500 XT and try out if this problem still occurs with the normal default mode on the 5500 XT. So I plugged out the RX 580 and plugged in the 5500 XT into my Razer Core X. Both were from Sapphire and they are the Nitro Plus editions of both cards because on the Apple website, Sapphire graphic cards are among those who are recommended, so therefore I decided both to use from Sapphire. Now the problem with the RX 580 and the macOS Catalina was not that uh, we had again the white screen of death, but later on if you have used your Mac for a couple of minutes, almost every app that you had open crashed after a while. And this was not happening in the default mode, but this was happening in the silent or compute mode. To sum it up, you have the RX 580, you have a white screen of death if you are in the default mode, but if you get it running, it works perfectly. But if you switch it in the BIOS to the silent mode or the compute mode, it will end up booting correctly, but you will have crashes with your applications. With the RX 5500 XT, you don't have these issues. It will boot up from the start. The initial boot takes a little bit longer. I guess this is some kind of setting up in the uh, eGPU box. But after that, as you can see, it just boot up directly with the DisplayPort cable plugged in directly into the eGPU. And from there, with a USB-C Thunderbolt cable uh, in the Mac. So there is no direct connection between the Mac and the monitor is just the Mac and then with Thunderbolt to the eGPU box and from there with the DisplayPort cable into the monitor. Thanks for watching and subscribe, like and leave a comment if you like. Thanks and bye.